Hey gang, the days are getting shorter, it's getting colder out, and it is time for you guys to pay attention to your machines. Things are going to be getting put up. Your mowers, your weed eaters, your leaf blowers, all that stuff needs to be properly stored so that when you bring it back to life or attempt to bring it back to life in the spring, you're not going to have any issues with it. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is empty the gas tank out of your weed eater, start it, let it run completely out of fuel, your riding mower or your garden tractor if it's going to stay idle and you're not going to be using it like I've got all these stored in here shut your fuel off start and run the engine until the engine dies that empties your carburetor out you won't have to worry about that nasty ethanol gas eating everything up over the course of the winter and it can happen just that quick I can't tell you guys how many carburetor replacements rebuilds and repairs I have to do every spring because people do not listen to me when I tell them when you store your equipment you've got to store them dry this ethanol gas is going to tear your stuff up every single one of these the fuel is shut off on them and they the carburetors have been run dry and sea foam has been added to the gas tanks to stabilize the fuel to get them over the hump I still come out and start my engines in all of my equipment and my collector tractors and what have you any idle engine always gets started once every couple of months just to keep things fresh so if you're not using an ethanol free fuel do use a stabilizer and be sure to empty out your carburetors if you don't have a fuel shut off empty your gas tank let it run completely out of fuel drain or siphon the gas out and put it in your vehicle do whatever you have to do to make sure that there is no fuel left in the carburetors of your equipment if you are storing any of your equipment outside because you have no other option and it happens to be one with an exposed gas cap which is most of them take a plastic bag take your cap off put the plastic bag over the mouth and close it down also if you're running an older engine with points cover the engine with something save that engine the points uh, can very easily draw moisture around the gasket and you go to start it next season no go um, that about wraps it up I just want you guys to make sure that you have equipment that is going to be happy in the spring when you go to fire it up. But like I say, it's a very good practice if you can find it in your area to get ethanol free fuels. That's it. This is Zippo. I'll holler at you later. I'm out.